Hi everybody, I'm Joanne from Gaia Baby. We get loads of questions from you, our users, about how to convert the co-sleeping crib into a full-size cot. So we want to show you today exactly all the steps you need to do to make it into your beautiful full-size 70 by 140 cot. First of all, I wanted to um, uh, remind everybody about the triggers that you will see in terms of when should I actually move my baby from the co-sleeping crib into a full-size cot. So normally we would say that this crib is, is certified up to six months old, but actually if your baby starts pulling up, moving around or trying to turn over before they are six months old, that is a trigger that you must move them into the full-size cot. So for the purposes of today's demonstration, we're converting the uh, co-sleeping crib into a full-size cot at the lower level because that's the level that you would use for a baby that is doing those things, sitting up, turning over, or trying to pull up. If you uh, do want to convert your uh, co-sleeping crib before that stage into a full-size cot for a newborn at the upper level, you will need some extra parts and pieces, um, which are two parts two and two parts 12, which you'll find in the same boxes. In total, what you require are two parts of the feet, one part two, two parts three, two parts seven, two parts nine, two parts 10, and then your curved ends, which are called in the instructions part 1B and 4B. So for the assembly process, you'll need the Allen key that was supplied with your complete sleep package. You'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver, and then lastly, a flathead screwdriver. So the first step in the process, once you have all the parts gathered, that we would recommend is that you disassemble your co-sleeper. Now for some parts of the uh, conversion, we do recommend that you have a helper. So I have a helper here with me today, which is my lovely son, Jordan. So he's actually uh, gonna get started with disassembling the co-sleeper. So after disassembling, this is what your ends should look like. You should leave these barrel nut screws in and leave the leg pieces attached. For disassembling parts brought together by these barrel nuts, just use your flathead screwdriver, twist them to the left and the parts should come away easily. And then when you're getting them out, you can put your Allen key up and just pop them out like that. So step one, you're going to need six of the shorter screws. Moving on to step two, you'll need 
four of the barrel nut screws and six more short screws. So for this step you're going to need four of the short screws and then a handy hint before you start the assembly when you're putting parts 9 and 10 together make sure that the screw holes are facing upwards. So for step four, you're going to need eight barrel nuts and four short screws. three barrel nut screws for step five. So three barrel nuts to move on to step six. Now for step seven, you're going to need six of the metal dowels. Uh, and when you're inserting the metal dowels, you can, I would recommend that you use uh, the end of a screwdriver or something a bit less hard than a hammer because otherwise when you're hitting them in, it can damage the wood. Coming on to step eight, you'll need four of the long screws and your two main side pieces to number 11s. For step nine, you need 12 short screws and your slots. So now, 
your baby ready.